You may have seen the Radius Pivot monitor for the Macintosh, but hold on PC users, there is now a full page pivot display for the PC. Here to show us how it works is Barry James Folsom of Radius. Jan? Barry James, Radius has been known for a long time as being a leading supplier to the Macintosh market. Uh, now we see you getting in with a very nice product for the Windows market. Give us some idea of the thinking behind your um, entry into that market. Yeah, it's very simple. For the past five and plus years, we've been a GUI graphical house with a Macintosh. Now graphic user interfaces have come to the PC. So it's appropriate for us to enter the marketplace because we know more about it than almost anybody. Yeah. And so we're here. All right, let's talk about the pivot monitor, which was a pretty sure. clever piece of technology yeah. when we first saw that come out for the Mac. And you have the PC version here. And just show us how this works. Sure. I am obviously running here under Windows. And let me show you how a typical user would look at this. This is what we call landscape mode. Right. And if you notice, when you're in a word processing document, there's just a lot of white space, these margins taken up here. And you're getting maybe a third to 50% of the document, and you're, this real estate space is wasted. Well, simply by pivoting the monitor, we automatically resize the document, and it comes back up. And if you notice here, you're now seeing the full page, which is very critical. Right. And over 50% of the people using PCs are using them for word processing. And they're looking at a very small part of their yeah, document, yeah. so they're being constrained. One of the key things that we talk about, if you think about the stereo industry, they say you put 50% of your funds into the speakers right. mm -hmm. because of what you hear. Yeah. We all think about putting a third to 50% of your budget into your display because yeah. this is what you see. Right. And it's very, very important. Let me just uh, click down here, and you can see we can go through a whole page here. Right. Now, there's also, besides uh, word processor users, we also have spreadsheet users. So let me bring up a spreadsheet here. And this is also in portrait mode. Right. And what's nice about this and those spreadsheets where you have a lot of things in this direction. A lot of rows a lot with of rows, columns. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the way to go it. But most of us have, you know, 13 right, months right. and that stuff. So you just turn the monitor this way. And then you'll see it come out real quick here. Yeah. And even those bar charts resize themselves yes, and reorient yeah, absolutely. themselves. Beautiful. Barry, Barry James, just to make sure nobody thinks that it's magic here, I mean, you weren't touching any buttons to do this, no. right? This is happening <laughs> automatically, automatically inside the monitor. And just tell us what's, what's making that happen. Yeah, it's very simple. We have a little mercury <clears throat> switch in here, and so when you pivot it, it sends a signal back to the computer, and then it automatically mm -hmm. resizes and, and knows that. And of course, in Windows, we send an event to Windows saying, mm -hmm. resize your Windows. Yeah. And Windows takes care of the rest for it. Now, you've got two boards in front of you here. What are they? Yes. This is the SVGA MultiView card. It is a companion with the full page pivot. That's what's in the pivot. This is what's in mm -hmm. the pivot. This is fully Super VGA and VGA compatible. Mm -hmm. It is also, with the software drivers we supply, the fastest board and software drivers in its class. We mm -hmm. sell this product for $449. And we're really proud of this. And uh -huh. it's fully VGA compatible. Okay. Okay. And the other board? The other board, we're switching to uh, our Mac line. This is a new board for us. This is the Precision Color 8X and 24X. This mm -hmm. is the 24X version. We've done several things. One is, prior to this, we actually had two boards, which we sold for around $4,000. Mm -hmm. We've now done two A6s, as you can see right. here. And we put them together and got down to a single board. And we're selling this board for $19.99, so we reduced the price by a factor of two. So this is, a, is causing a lot of excitement yeah. in the industry. The other thing that we've done is for the first time we drive a lot of other frequencies. We can drive other people's monitors. For instance, mm -hmm. we can drive Apple's monitor yeah. or Super Mac or, or Radius or whoever. We can drive a lot of monitors. So it becomes kind of the universal solution. Not only is it the fastest board at the lowest price, it also can run any monitor. Right, without Barry, rebooting. Just without, without rebooting. rebooting. Yeah. Barry James, let's get to the other monitor you have here, your other radius monitor, yep. and tell us what you're going to explain on that. Yeah. We just introduced this this week at Comdex. This is the Precision Color Display 20, and we're real proud of this. This is the state of the art. People are starting to put microprocessor controls in here. So this is a multi-sync monitor. So it will run with all the Apple timings. Okay. We're onto a Mac here, We're right? onto a Mac here, yeah. but also has PC timing, so you can mm -hmm. also put it to PCs. And what is great for customers is in large offices, you're, you know, ever occasionally, you know, moving this monitor over here, right. and therefore this is the universal monitor, so you can use it for both Macs or PCs. Uh -huh. So if you're buying one large monitor, this is the one to buy, so your Mac users can use them and your PC users can use them. Mm -hmm. Now we're showing it to you here in uh, the standard Apple 13-inch mode. What I'd rather do is show you what you really want to see. What you want to do when you look at a computer, you want to look at information. So let me change this 
to a different resolution. And what's happening is this board and this monitor are now working together as a system. And I go in here to click on the monitor. And then I look at options. And here you will see all the various different options. So I'll choose a different uh, resolution, in this mm -hmm. case 1024 by 768. And by just clicking on the control panel here, com combined with the board and the display, we're automatically resizing to this new resolution. And what you'll see, if you yeah. remember, mm -hmm. you saw just the top part of this Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now look at what you can see. Okay? And you spend your money on computers and they're getting faster right, and faster. Right. But the world's most graphic computer has the world's smallest display. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the opportunity yeah. uh, for you to stop scrolling around yeah. and look at it. And this thing is just gorgeous. This is sparkling color. All it's right, just Barry crazy. James, thank you very much. Well, in just a minute, we'll look at the world's largest computer monitor, the giant 37-inch Diamond Pro from Mitsubishi. Don't go away.